Welcome to The Restaurant Show, where today we're going to learn a little bit about barbecue from One Hot Mamas. We're going to learn about some great seafood coming out of the Weston Carolina Cafe. And then last but not least, we're going to finish up with some delicious food crepes from the original Pancake House with John Bartuska. So stay tuned. We've got a great show ahead. All right, we are back with uh, Paul Rabe here from One Hot Mamas, and um, we're going to be talking barbecue right now. Right? Is that this right? Is, yeah, <laughs> this is true barbecue, low country style barbecue. And if, may I? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. This is, this is an I'm, award winner, I think. This is the 2012 Kiwanis Rib Burnoff <laughs> uh, champion right here. Right there. These are, awesome. and this is a uh, sauce, because there's two different, this is the ones that we're really known for, which is our baby back ribs that are, that feature our perfect 10 sauce, which is a traditional uh, southern style uh, barbecue sauce right. with using tomato based sauce. the marks on it, the caramelization. And then this right here, this is the award winner. Uh, it's the same baby back rib though that we do, but it's painted with our um, one hot Asian sauce. Yep. And what people really taste are some from that it's it has a teriyaki infused flavor in there so they taste these really nice sweet flavors and then all of a sudden while they're chewing they're like whoo this is this I is like some that. hot stuff and that's why it's the one hot Asian <laughs> sauce. Not not just because of me but no, uh, no. but it's the flavors, <laughs> the spice, it's all and, and it's uh, right there in the middle is actually our honey jalapeno cornbread which we always and like to put in there. And is it spicy the honey jalapeno cornbread? It is not. It's there right. for flavor. And it's but there's that sweetness to it. I think it's, it's almost like good as almost as good as a dessert. Yeah, it's almost it is, like let's taste hearty. it. Sorry, I have to taste. I'm so hungry. It's like pound cake. See this? See you mm -hmm. just took like a tasting test. This is what usually people do. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really good actually. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to a break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, now this is on a platter. Uh, platters, um, catering. What's going on with? Can you get a platter like this? You can. <laughs> I'm Sorry. chewing really hard. No, <laughs> but you definitely can. You call the restaurant um, at any time during the day and just ask um, because we sell our ribs by a full rack. Okay, right, right. But we can, you can um, cut them up, give them in a platter, and be able to open this up at a party. Exactly. Um, all the way up from, you know, we can pretty much accommodate any number of size of people. Right. We just need a little bit of warning. But usually day of, we can do a great platter like this right. for anyone, you know, just call us, give us just a little bit of time to put it together now, so we ensure that it's the perfect And then you'll get something just like that. Now, this, though, this is something different, though, this right? This is that, that you, that every you're day, offering. any day right. of the And this is awesome because this is this exactly... This is a happy package. Yeah. This looks like, <laughs> if I walked in and I got this, I'd be like, I am ready to go eat dinner now with my family. How fantastic. All right, open it up yeah. and open and up this the is, present This for is me. perfect because this is literally, this could be for lunchtime with your coworkers or really mostly just if you're tired and just want to have a great meal with your right, family. and not worry about and anything. And this is fam for a family of four to five, perfect meal package. Right. Because right there in one bag, you get Let's take your plates. Up. Yay. You get utensils, so you don't have to do any dishes and or anything. And as a mom, this makes me very excited that, to know that this kind of, this is out there, and I love these. You're going to have to tell me about these packages. Sure, sure, sure. I love them. I already love the containers. And with the, <laughs> yeah, so plates, like, you don't have to do any dishes. Sauce is the most important thing. We always include sauce. Okay. You always right. have enough sauce when you come to one. You got to one plates. Mamas. You have silverware packets. Yeah. Okay. And for it's it's under twenty dollars. Just oh, around, wow. right around twenty dollars that you can. That's awesome. Feed the entire family. And tell me what we're unraveling here. Yeah. So, <laughs> just putting it out. All in this little bag. It's really exciting. Right there, one bag, <laughs> one stop. Put it on the table, and then you're ready to eat. Okay. Um, you get one pound of any of our smoked meat. So what we did right here, though, um, which is. What people Oh, and just it's a three-compartment plate. Three-compartment like plate. Uh, Eat. It sure. is. <laughs> it is one pound of any of our meats. But right there, this is our pulled pork. Pulled pork. So okay. that's enough servings for four to five people. Okay. Coleslaw. Unless you're my family, then maybe like then, three yeah, people. Exactly. <laughs> but then, um, and then macaroni oh, and cheese. Oh, that looks so good. So you've got, so you get one meat and basically two sides. Two sides. Okay, all enough right. Enough for four to five people. And then rolls or... You can have that cornbread that we were just looking so at. So you can interchange cornbread or the rolls. That's awesome. And this Perfect. is all under 20 bucks. That's it. That's pretty good. Dinner is done. That Served is pretty good. Served out the good. door. You are there, I mean, 
then you take all this, you put it in the garbage receptacle or recycling, <laughs> and then you can go to sleep. Yeah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> and these are actually these are nice containers. These are this and is these something are, I would reuse. That container. these are these are definitely <laughs> reusable. Um, you know, the funny thing is, I have friends that go there. Uh, that p pick this up a lot for their families, and then I'll be over at their house uh, <laughs> looking for something. I'm like, I know those containers. <laughs> Wait yeah. a minute. Now, so what if I want to? How soon do I have to call? Like, do I have to call a day in advance? How do you? For this, this is every day. This is call up before you start heading over, and then about 20, 30 minutes okay, later, right. it's ready to go. So that is on your way home from work mm -hmm. or on your way home from the soccer game. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Perfect deal. Once you get there, and then come on in, you know, even if it's a couple of minutes, oh, we have a great bar, come and grab a drink and just relax before you right, go Right, absolutely. Home. And the, um, and what if you want to pick it up cold? Can you, you know what I mean? Definitely like, can. That's a great thing about these, vers we call these versatainers because okay. they're versatile. Very, very fancy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, refrigerator, uh, microwave, use it to heat up, perfect. Okay, good, good, good. And then, um, now this is also good for, I know you do a lot of catering. You are the we, catering manager. We, we, yeah. Uh, that is uh, the one thing we like to say is uh, barbecue. Have barbecue, we'll travel. Right. So you know. But this, but now when a big party though, that tell me just uh, you know really quickly with the pork because that takes a while. The pork takes a while to cook. So that, if you have a big party, that's the one thing. It depending on the size of your party. Right. That's the thing because um, you know uh, it takes twenty hours for us to put in the love and care that needs to ah, flavor yeah, absolutely. that barbecue. So you know anything over. 30 people, mm -hmm. 20, 30 people is where we really need to make sure that we have the pork just for you. Just, exactly. That we focus is just for your particular guests. Exactly. So, um, so basically, if you want to call ahead, go for this. If you want a big party, you want to go for that big party. You want platter. to go for platters, things like that. And then you can contact me at the restaurant. My name Great. is Paul. Um, and then I'll definitely get back to you right away and make sure that the food that you're getting mm -hmm. is the food for your guests. That sounds awesome. Specifically for them. That's the way to go. So, um, so thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. It was a pleasure <laughs> to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but thank you. And then, you know, we can find you also at Skull Creek Boathouse bartending. But Paul is definitely an icon on the island, as you can tell, with the mustache. <laughs> so, um, Thank you so much for coming in Thank and you. sharing all this with us. And hopefully if you do have any catering or opportunities to feed a large group of hungry people, Paul's the one to call. Thanks so much. All right, up next we're going to be talking seafood with Freddie Schmoyer from the Weston Carolina Cafe. This is going to be a good one. You're going to want to stick around. Welcome back, everybody, to the restaurant show. And um, I have here Freddie Schmoyer, mm -hmm. the food and beverage manager at the Westin on Hilton Head Island. And um, we're going to talk about the seafood extravaganza, uh, which is an all time traditional favorite on Hilton Head. I know I experienced it um, way back when, when I was an intern. We won't say when, but it was definitely before the year 2000, um, maybe early 90s. But, um, but that's how long people have been enjoying this. Right. Um, tell me, just, I mean, for those of you who haven't been there, tell me a little bit about what I can expect. Expect when I walk in, as I can see, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> Absolutely, it's been an island favorite for many, many years. Like yeah. like yourself, I have heard about it over the years and, and kept hearing about the seafood extravaganza. Awesome. I'm just so excited to be part of it now. Yeah. Um, and what we have is we have a wide variety of seafood that we offer. Okay. And we used to have everything from a she crab soup to start with. Love it. Which is an absolute favorite for Low all country seafood favorite. lovers. Low country favorite. I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and then we go on to a, um, a different variety of um, chef entrees that we have prepared. Um, mm -hmm. For instance, they switch up every week. Last week we had a pan seared sea. Uh, Swordfish, oh, um, and that was with a lemon caper butter sauce, which was great. And swordfish isn't something easy to cook at home. You no. know, it's not like these are things that you may never get a chance to even cook at home. So right. come to the West End and try Come to try the West End and get it. We also offer a wide variety of fried seafoods, fried shrimp, fried yeah. oysters, fried clams. Which is a favorite, obviously. <laughs> Everybody loves those. And then we also do um, a little special too, is we smoke our own seafood in-house. And that's what we have here, that's right? That's what we have right there. We have some smoked trout, and we also have our smoked oysters right okay, here. Okay, so that's the oysters. Mm -hmm. Now, so those are smoked, so they're going to be cooked. They are cooked. They're smoked with hickory. They're hickory smoked. Oh, that's so awesome. And it's people so just good. die for them. They really are yeah, fantastic. That's 
really a difference. And um, and I think with oysters, some people get nervous, like, oh, they're going right. to be slimy or whatever. But I think these look oh, absolutely fantastic. Those are cooked, they're fully cooked oysters. Yeah, I love it. And they are quite popular. Um, I believe everyone it. does like them. But we also do have a, your basic seafoods. Like you see, our salmon lox at the very front. Right. Um, which love is, it. Which you were saying is one of your favorites <laughs> whenever is, you go to really seafood buffets. And then we also have your peel and eat shrimp. Right. And obviously. You can't come to the island without eating peel and eat shrimp. No, you can't. <laughs> and, and the peel and eat shrimp are absolutely fantastic. People yeah. love them. People, you see plates of them and no, everyone enjoys them. No, I see some them. seasoning on there. So you must not just steam them. You they really. They steam them. They will also put a little seafood seasoning yeah. on them also just so they're not, you know, a little plain. But yeah. they, they are great. And then obviously the main event here is the crab legs. <laughs> yeah. And um, that is what is the most popular, I'd oh, say, I believe on the it. buffet. Um, people come in and they always ask about the crab legs. Uh, and yeah. It, it is one of those things where it's served with the fresh butter and people just die for it. Uh, yeah, the butter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The butter do you the like legs. have containers of butter for them to walk away we with? We do, we do, <laughs> um, and it, it is just something that keeps people coming back yeah. for more. Is the all you can eat crab legs? Well, there's something so cool about being able to walk up and be like, I'll just take a couple of these, and then I'll just take a couple more, and if right. I want to take more. I'll go back. And so. I'll go back for more. Absolutely. So we keep them coming out all night fresh. Yeah. And, um, they are quite popular. I absolutely love it. Now, this is the other question because I know when we were coming with my parents, um, I my, one of my siblings wasn't quite into shellfish. But you have so many other things on there that if you're not into shellfish, right? I mean, there's a lot Ab of other items. Absolutely. One of the other main hi highlights for the mm -hmm. land lovers is our prime, prime rib. Oh, and we have a prime, prime rib, rib carving station. And our prime rib is cooked in-house. And we use a choice cut, which you know has a little more marbling in it, which yes. gives it the flavor. Yeah, absolutely. And so the flavor is there. But we actually dry rub it with our house-made dry rub. Okay. And then we actually smoke it over hickory for about an hour. Oh, I love it. And then it's slow roasted about 275. And so the chef is there and he's carving it absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Nice carving station. Medium and, rare for me. Medium <laughs> rare, any way you like it. <laughs> right. Um, and right. So if you want it well done, he'll cook it we can up have, to temperature for you. We can have an you. end piece for you. Yeah. And we, can, we can try to accommodate any request that Fantastic. anyone has. Fantastic. That's good to know. Um, and that's a great choice. And then we also have an action pasta station. So someone actually cooking pasta oh, for you also. Oh, um, I like which that. Which is kind of just to add a little flair and people enjoy yeah. that a lot too. With the sauces and the pasta. Sauces, pasta, and, and they're right there next to the prime rib carving station. And the, is there things to like add into the pasta? Absolutely. You can oh. create, create your own so pasta So it's not just bit. regular pasta. It's like create your whole you custom. You can create some pasta. Absolutely. Oh, there's which, so much food. I'm too excited. Nice. <laughs> One of the other very popular things is we did have a baked potato bar. So people can kind of go up and get all their little fixings yeah. from the baked, baked potato bar. And we have definitely have cold salads and different yeah. types of salads to offer, which is So there's great. a lot for if you aren't necessarily a seafood lover, there is so much more. There is plenty more. And for more. kids too, because I Absolutely. have kids, so I mean, that's a big thing. Absolutely, and you're not limited to just the, the seafood extravaganza. We run right. our a la carte menu also during that time. Oh, so you don't, so if I'm going with a big group, because the holidays are coming up, mm -hmm. um, you know, it is wedding season, people are, visitors are coming in, families are visiting. I mean, families all come to visit us on Hilton Head, right? You know, you don't Absolutely. see them all year, but you will see them at this time of year. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So um, if they don't want the seafood, extravaganza, they can actually order off the menu. Absolutely. They can oh. order off our regular menu, and we do have our kids' menu there, too. So um, if you do have a young child and you didn't want to get the buffet for them, right, you right. can do a kid's, kid's uh, meal also off that's the menu. That's awesome. So. And that's good to know because a lot of people do have the young ones coming in, and mm -hmm. that sometimes determines whether or not you can go where you're going to go eat. Right. I know that happens with us a lot, especially if they're little. Um, and what about as far as um, uh, big parties, little, like how do you... Accommodation-wise, uh, we can accommodate large parties and small parties. So right. um, what you have to do is just call, and make reservations, and please okay. make them way ahead. Reservations of time. are reservations are highly recommended, okay. especially for a large group, because we want to be prepared so we can offer a great service right. and be prepared for your group coming in. Right. And so we love to handle big parties. Love the local parties are coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Last weekend we had very large local parties, so it's very great that's to see great. them coming out and enjoying the. the and because that's the key, you don't have to be a guest there to enjoy this. Because I know right. the times I've gone, I was definitely not a guest. I was working <laughs> and mm -hmm. saying, Mom, Dad, can you pick up pick me up and we'll go eat at the seafood extravaganza so you can be a local and enjoy it. Exactly. It, it's for our locals. It's for our guests. It's for the local community. It's been right. a tradition for so many I years know, that we it. just like having everyone come up and enjoy the great seafood extravaganza that we offer. Yeah. And now it's on Fridays and Saturdays. Fridays and Saturday nights. Okay. And that's at the Westin Hilton Head Island Resort and Spa. And that is in? That's in Port Royal. Port Royal. Port Royal okay. Plantation. <laughs> that's get a little difficult sometimes. Right. People well, find and for it. those that aren't from the Hilton Head Island area, right. 
Right. It is in Port Royal Plantation, and um, and then you also have a breakfast too. We do. Think, yeah. At the, the seafood buffets Friday and Saturday nights, but seven days a week we do offer a full breakfast brunch buffet. There's a lot. So if you go golfing or if you're going to the beach and you want to swing by there, absolutely, it's a great um, buffet there. Six thirty in the morning to uh, eleven thirty and. Um, and 6.30. That, and that, <laughs> that is, it is quite early, but we do have an action omelet station. We yeah. do have um, all your favorite breakfast choices. Well, that sounds great. All right, and the up thing next, is, we're so going to be talking seafood with Freddie Schmoyer evening, from the, the Western Carolina Cafe. On there. This is going to be a good one. You're going to want to stick around. It's a great place to go to, a great Absolutely. tradition. So thank you so much for being well, on the show. Thank you very much for having me. look forward to seeing you again, and hopefully I'll be seeing you with some of these crab legs. Absolutely. Look <laughs> forward you. to it. Thank you very much. All right, stick around, because if you're in the mood for some delicious fruit crepes, or even better, buttermilk pancakes, John Bartuska from the Original Pancake House is here to share some secrets. Welcome back to the restaurant show, and I have, I mean, you already see what's in front of me here, but John Bartuska here, the owner of the original Pancake House um, out in Bluffton in the Hilton Head area, is here to share some really, really wonderful breakfast items here and kind of what you're known for. That's right. These fantastic uh, pancakes and I mean, we'll get to this one in a second. But okay. <laughs> But tell us a little Hard bit. Hard to resist. Of, I mean, I can't even get away. I wanted to start eating it right now. That's right. But how about these um, pancakes? Now, these are special pancakes because they they're are. different. They're different. Tell us about them. They are. Well, we don't use any prepackaged ingredients at all. So there's no mixes at all at, right. at our pancake house. Uh, we start with flour and eggs and sugars. You really go uh, for Really high quality stuff. And we make the batter. So we make the batter, uh, the basic pancake batter. Okay. After a day, we sit it in our cooler for a day, oh, and during so that time, process. there there's is a, a process. process. Okay. Exactly, we've got a sour starter that we add to the pancakes oh. after one day, and then that sits inside the batter for a day and sort of ferments. Didn't and know so this. The volume doubles. Right. And that makes it very it fluffy nice. and airy the way they are. Love it. And so. Love it. Uh, from the time that we start the batter until the time that these are served on your plate, almost three days. Really? Yes. Go into it. That's like, you know, I, I do barbecue and that, there's a lot of time that goes there into it. So there's time, a lot yes. of love that goes into exactly. these pancakes. Sure and these are buttermilk pancakes. These are the basic buttermilk pancakes. Okay. That's right. And what about the syrup? Because go ahead and pour it on. Like, 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 Great. Sure. Like we would really. Not, well, that's right. This friends, is what most so. of our <laughs> customers are doing. That's right. So we're loading up the pancakes with syrup. And, and, and syrup wise, uh, that's you right. have different syrups. I, I'm, I'm, we have five different syrups oh, that wow. we serve, uh, including this maple syrup. Then we have tropical syrup. We have strawberry apple and a blueberry compote oh, and okay. all five of those are made right there on our premises. You make the syrups, the flavored syrups on premise? We do, right from scratch. That's yes, awesome. I really just want to like roll that up right now. <laughs> but I'll wait. Many do that. I know. Right. I, I, I'm not shy. It might happen in a little, in a little bit. No, all right. Um, great. Now, and you know, one thing that I heard yes. when you were coming on the show, one yes. of my friends told me, they said, they didn't even care about the buttermilk, the fruit or anything. They said, they have the best gluten-free pancakes. We do. Which is huge right now. It really is. It really is. And we're happy to accommodate those customers right. that need that type of And there's more pancake. and more of them. There are more and more of them. And so uh, we love making that batter. We have a right. h real high-quality batter that we put together. It doesn't have any of the dangerous things yeah. that people don't want. Absolutely. But we can make regular pancakes like this, gluten-free. And then we can also really? do some of the varieties that we have. And, and add in, like, so what are some of the best um, added? The most favorite. We have blueberry, mm -hmm. uh, banana, yes, um, coconut. Oh, that's uh, a little different. It is. It is uh, bacon pancakes, uh, which is really a very uh, big specialty. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I, got, I'll take uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, we've got a children's favorite, which is chocolate chip. Of course, I was waiting for it because that is. I, I was uh, telling John earlier that my when I told my kids you were coming on the show, they're like. Can you bring the leftovers or can we come? Do you get to eat the pancakes? I mean, they were so excited. <laughs> oh, but my yeah. sister's child is gluten free. So, you know, for her, that is a yeah. huge deal. That's right. And we can More make chocolate chip as now. well, gluten free. Oh, um, you can? Yeah, we can do that with pineapple. We do it with pecans. Oh, that's um, awesome. That's awesome. We have buckwheat pancakes, we have wheat germ pancakes. Uh, wow. And then we've got some specialty pancakes. We'll probably talk about some of those yeah. on later shows, <laughs> exactly. so stay tuned There's for There's a those. lot of pancake stuff That's to right. talk about exactly. here. But now, okay, so let's lead into this deliciousness. Sure. Oh, yeah. Now, this is not just made for TV, no. right? No, no, that's how it actually comes out. When you were putting it together, I was like, really? Are you going to put all of it on there? And he we said, are. yeah, this is how I do it. Yes. So tell me about this 
big, beautiful crepe that I just want to eat right now. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, wait, wait. Let's sprinkle. Oh, right? there you this go. Is that's the, right. It this is the finishing, right? That's right. That's how we finish it. Okay. All that's right. right. <laughs> that's great. Well, this is called a fresh fruit crepe. Okay. What it is is a French batter, and it's started on the grill, and while it gets cooking gently, we add a few strawberries inside. Inside. Right. And that's what's in that's there. That's what's inside okay. there. That's right. We roll there it up. There actually is a crepe underneath there. Yes, there is. That's <laughs> right. Um, we have some strawberries in there. We roll it up and let the cooking process finish. Okay. And that's where you get these nice golden um, coloring to it. Exactly. Okay. We put it on a plate like this, and then we start adding fresh fruit. I, I so we have sliced strawberries, we have blueberries, and then we slice almost a full banana on that top of is, there. That is that is really a wow factor right there. It really is. It, it's, it makes a really dynamic picture as it comes out of the kitchen, yeah. and our customers love it. If that walked by, I would be like, is that for three people? I mean, that is, that is awesome. And what is the name of this one again? This is called a fresh fruit crepe. This is a fresh fruit crepe, and obviously you have many other crepes. We um, do. That what, what is one of the other best sellers as far as your crepes? I'd say probably one we're going to talk about perhaps in the future would be a cherry kiafa crepe. It's a special one That's from so Denmark. Yeah. Uh, our recipes are from 1953. They've been Tried timed. and true. Yeah, exactly. I love and it. And so the cherry kiafa crepe is another one that it takes about four hours to make the cherry sauce, and it's, then we put it on another French crepe like this. You would never think that it would take that long, but it takes that right. much time and care to go into it, and that's why what makes it so special. It really does. I love yes. it. Now, now tell me, I know it's a great place to meet at your place. I mean, yeah. you have the coffee flowing we do. at the table. Yes. Tell us about some meetings that, you know, if you want to book a meeting or if you want to go there and, and um, what's available for, for me if I want to come there for a meeting. Sure. Uh, we think it's a great place to meet, whether it's an informal get-together with right. a colleague, one or two or three of mm -hmm. your colleagues, uh, business partners who you want to just sit down and talk with for an yeah. hour or two. Make business uh, happen. Make things exactly. happen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> or if you want to organize something that's a little more formal uh, right. and have groups of 15, 20, 30 people, and we you can, can configure it. some tables. Uh, we've got Wi-Fi in the building so that you can uh, have all deal. of your electronic needs yes, met. Yes, all the tech available. Exactly. That's yes. right. Exactly, and um, very comfortable, inviting environment, great service, and of course you can all you know, order this yes, quality so, food. Yes, so it's not just the coffee that no, you're going to be all. able to flow. You can eat pancakes, <laughs> you can eat crepes, you can have, and, and, and exactly. more importantly, you can have a nice, comfortable atmosphere with you guys at the home and taking care of all of us. That's right. Uh, but thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. And thank you for sharing this, and I will be definitely digging into that in just a little bit. And um, and really, truly, remember, the gluten-free pancakes are fantastic. Thank you. Great place for kids, and obviously a great place to get your fruit intake for the week. So right there. So thank you again, John. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll Orchid. be seeing more of you. Look forward to it. Right, Thank you great. very much. Have a great day. Thank you so much, and Thank we you. will see you soon. Thanks a lot, guys, for enjoying the show with me and enjoying some great barbecue from One Hot Mamas, some seafood from the Weston, and, of course, those delicious crepes that we enjoyed from John at the original Pancake House. So we'll tune in next time, and I'll see you there.